upcoming new moon in the water sign of Cancer gives us the opportunity to go introspective and heal some old wounds. Hi, I'm Megan, Modern Astrologer, and we are doing a giveaway at the end of the video, so please subscribe and stay tuned, and let's just get right into it. This upcoming new moon in the sign of Cancer is going to be on Monday, July 17th at 2.31 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can do your new moon activities within about 72 hours on either side of that new moon date. Just make sure you're waiting until that actual new moon to start any manifesting. That is because the day of the new moon, July 17th, is when the moon will start actually growing, and so as the moon grows, so will your intention, hopefully. So that is why you wait until the actual new moon in order to start manifesting. But you can do your journaling, kind of more introspective stuff before that's fine. Cancer is the fourth sign of the zodiac and its glyph looks like this and is symbolized by the crab. Cancer is a cardinal sign, which means it is the first sign in its season. And as cancer is also a water sign, it means it is great at initiating or starting or creating that water energy, that emotional energy. So cancer has the energy of both being cardinal, initiating, and creating, as well as water, which is generally associated with emotions. So this is a great new moon to process and heal your emotions. Cancer is very much associated with healing and the archetype of the nurturer. I think Maren Altman said it best when she said cancer is both mother and baby at the same time. Cancer is that crab, you know, they will be kind of crabby. When you think of a crab, they carry their entire home on their back with them at all times. So it makes sense that cancer is associated with your home as well as your family situation. Cancer is ruled by the moon, which is already associated with emotions. So this is likely to be a very emotionally intense new moon. So make sure you give yourself grace and don't stress out too much if you cry. Maybe try to stay at home as much as you can this new moon. As cancer is the fourth sign of the zodiac, it rules the fourth house of home and family. So this month, check to see what's in your fourth house and see if you're aligning with the higher or lower vibration of that. For example, I have Aries in my fourth house and I definitely am a little bit flighty when it comes to my living situation. I'm always looking at cool places to move, etc, etc. So it's good to check in to see what's in your fourth house as well as checking to see what house or planets you have going on in Cancer just to see what might be affected more this new moon. There are a few important aspects for this new moon. Most notably, this new moon is occurring in opposition with Pluto in Capricorn. Pluto is the planet of rebirth and transformation. In Capricorn, obviously the sign of power, kind of authority, work, and oppositions are tension. So with this new moon being in opposition to Pluto in Capricorn, Pluto teaches us about our past pain and trauma. And with Pluto being in Capricorn, the sign of work and power, we might be examining this new moon, ways that we have given away our power or ways we can heal our relationship with power. In addition, on July 17th, the North and South nodes move out of Scorpio and Taurus respectively and move into Aries and Libra. So the North and South nodes are more or less like the karmic path that we're on. So we're moving towards the idea of finding our life's purpose, really focusing on that self, that Aries North node, as well as taking a step back and reevaluating how we show up in our relationships and partnerships. That is the South node in Libra. So these nodal energies are going to be very activated this new moon. So if you are a cardinal sign, Aries, Libra, Cancer, Capricorn, you might be especially affected by the energies on this new moon. So why manifest with the moon? What even is going on with the new and full moons? The new moon is the start of the lunar cycle. That's your time to plant your seeds, to kind of set yourself on the right course for the next month, where the full moon is the spotlight, where you've got the energy to do all of that stuff that you were planning to do on the new moon, maybe showing it off, and then refining back down to the new moon. So the new moon you start, full moon reveals, and then back down to the new moon again, where you can course correct. So the cycle repeats. So that's generally how you goal set with the new and full moons. And I'm going to go into some rituals that you can use specifically for this new moon in Cancer to help align with the energies and make the most use of them. So this new moon, as well as new moons generally, are a very introspective time. They are not the time like of the full moon where you wanna go out and party. These are the times where you wanna stay home, especially for this new moon. Mark my words, this is going to be a very emotional day for a lot of us. So really try to stay at home, limit the people, places, and energies that you're going to be around because they might affect you more on this day. But some rituals you can do to harness this kind of introspective energy. As Cancer is a water sign, this is a great new moon to take a ritual bath. I've got a full ritual bath guide I will link here. It's a perfect time to give yourself a little bit of time, private, away from everything, no phones, no technology, just music, 
candles, good smells, good vibes. A little self-care watery moment would be really lovely for this new moon. As Cancer is associated with that motherly, very giving and nurturing energy, it's a great time to cook a meal or maybe a baked good for someone. Do something selfless that is for another person. Definitely try to take some time fully alone this new moon. I know it's hard and some of us have families, roommates, etc. at what boundaries you've created or maybe things you've committed to that just don't align with you anymore. Like I mentioned, we have the opposition with Pluto. So take some time alone to yourself and really reconsider, are there things that you could be saying no to? Are there things you can stop doing? How can you create or take down unnecessary boundaries? And how can you maybe take back some of that alone time for yourself? As this is an emotional new moon, I recommend watching a sad movie, a real tearjerker, if you will. I like watching Big Fish, it always makes me cry every time. But give yourself a healthy outlet for those emotions so you're not just creating scenarios maybe in your personal life that are going to make you sad and release them anyways. Also a great ritual that'll help you release and process your emotions is doing something creative. Cancer is very much a yin receiving feminine energy. So this is a great new moon to do things like paint, sculpt, write poetry, do things that are creative and not necessarily productive and just do them to release whatever just whatever's in you. You might be surprised with what you output and how it kind of relates to what's going on in your mental state. Journaling questions for this new moon are, in what ways have you lost your power? Are you spending too much energy thinking about the past? What will help you process your emotions? Are you connected to your intuition? How do you know when your intuition is guiding you? How can you learn to trust your intuition? What within you needs healing? What helps you feel empowered? How can you free your energy from commitments that no longer serve you? I hope you enjoyed this guide to the upcoming new moon in Cancer. If you want even more information, crystals, glamour magic, tarot, all of that good stuff, check out my guide that I made last year for the new moon in Cancer. The only thing that's really changing are the date and aspects. Now let's get into the giveaway. Very exciting and thank you to everyone who voted on what to give away. I will be giving away a $50 Magic Goodbye gift card as a thank you to my 2,000 subscribers. I cannot believe that is so many people. I have like five friends in real life, so every time I look at it, I'm like, <gasps> So thank you so much, everyone. To enter, all you need to do is make sure you're subscribed to my channel, leave a comment below and thumbs up this video, and I will pick one of you to send this Magic of Eye $50 gift card. Make sure you have your notifications turned on because I will reply to the winner as well as shout you out in my next video. So just make sure you're not missing that. Again, subscribe like this video and then comment below comment below your cancer placements because i would really like to know what you have going on in cancer this month and i will choose one of you to give away a 50 dollars magic of eye gift card if you're not familiar with magic of eye they do planners and journals with a beautiful aesthetic i will link my 2022 planner review that has a full flip through and kind of breakdown of their planner it's my favorite planner of all time i haven't seen another astrology planner that is even close to magic of eye and no this is not sponsored at all I'm paying for this with my own money they actually rejected me from their affiliate program but that's okay we still love them so that being said please subscribe like this video and comment your cancer placements for a chance to win a $50 gift card to magic of eye so you can get yourself your own planner or maybe a beautiful notebook thank you so much for watching I hope you have a wonderful new moon and I will see you in the next one bye